Anathea, your Divine Feminine Educator, educating you and inspiring you to really reclaim your body as sacred. And in this video today, what I want to talk about is what is the Divine Feminine? And how can you access it? How can you express it? You see, the Divine Feminine has been in hiding. She's been hidden away, elusive. The reason being is she has not had a safe place to come out and express herself. Because we've defined the feminine from a very masculine point of view. And that is not the divine feminine. You know, in this fast paced world, it's about making something happen. The divine feminine just does not operate that way. You know, you hold the mysteries within you. But you're all, you, the divine feminine mysteries. But you're going to only access them when you truly slow down and stop getting on that rat race, trying to make something happen and really learn how to step back and trust in the process, become more receptive, really hold all relationships as sacred. So not spending a lot of mind chatter, judging things or being fearful. That's not where the divine feminine resides. Guess where the divine, thank you for being here, by the way, make a comment. I'd love to know who's here. I'm talking about the divine feminine. What is it and how can you express it? You see the divine feminine, where it resides is in you. And the divine feminine resides in mother nature, in mother earth. But we've really lost our connection to the rhythms and cycles of mother earth. You see the precious part of you, that beautiful feminine side of you, that authentic feminine side of you has been like gobbled up just like Mother Earth has kind of been gobbled up or her resources um, taken advantage of, just like a woman's resources have been taken advantage of. And I don't like to say a woman, let's say the feminine part of all of us, you know, that nurturing, caring, sharing part of us has kind of been taken advantage of. So in order to really access that part of you that is the divine feminine, you need to really step back and go inward. And it's beautiful right now, the planets are all, many of the planets are in retrograde. We have Venus in retrograde, Mercury is now in retrograde, Saturn, Jupiter, and uh, Pluto are retrograde. So now is a beautiful time to actually literally go inward. What does going inward really mean? It means hanging out with your body. If the divine feminine resides in your body, you need to start making contact with your body. Spending time with her, connecting with her, connecting with your breath, connecting with your emotions, connecting with your heart. What kind of relationship do you have with yourself? Really, you know, really what kind of relationship? Is it a nurturing one? Is it a conditional one and judgmental one? That's not where the divine feminine resides. The divine feminine, what is feminine? Nurturing, loving, soft. But guess what? She's also, when you really connect to that energy, that that nurturing, healing energy, then it's really actually powerful because then you begin to radiate and shine. So I want to give you nine ways to connect to your divine feminine, that part of you that resides in your female body. Now, men hold it too, but a female body holds it even stronger. It's just literally in our DNA. All right, so nine ways to connect to your divine feminine essence. Number one is to honor your emotions. Being emotional is part of being feminine. Men are emotional too, but traditionally they have not been conditioned to, con to be emotional. 
Now, the, the jury is still out on whether or not that's actually a um, an anatomical thing, male and female thing, or whether that's just a conditioning thing. Because emotions are part of being human. So begin to honor your emotions instead of repressing them. Learn how to navigate them in a positive way. Number two is love your body. No matter what age, shape, or size, race, creed, or color. Love your body in its unique phase of life. How can you love your body more? How can you stop judging it? You know, one of the beautiful ways to start loving your body is to start feeling it from the inside out instead of as a mental construct. Seeing your body from the outside in is not the way to live in the divine feminine essence. You know, divine feminine energy is something that's not an intellectualized. It's actually experienced and felt. So when you can start loving your body, literally putting compassionate energy inside the cells of your body, then the divine feminine is going to awaken in you. Number three, trust your intuition. So awaken your intuition. You know that inner voice? You've got to slow down to even let it talk to you. Otherwise, you're busy in your critical mind. So this idea of really slowing down and stepping off the rat race is where all the magic is going to start happening in your life. You'll start being guided by your higher self and your intuition. That's very divine feminine. And then giving your inner wisdom a voice. So trusting that voice and giving it a voice. You know, there's, you know, what is it called? Um, gaslighting. There are relationships basically based on gaslighting. The person that you are with is always uh, putting you in a state of doubt. Second, you know, it's called the, I think it's called the, this is what I call it. And it's, I'm not trying to do masculine and feminine here, male and female, but gaslighting is a way of being where the person, the other person is GI Joeing you. It's, it's war tactics. That's not divine feminine. So the person in your life doesn't want to take ownership and responsibility for whatever they're doing that's not um, in ease and flow and grace and love. So they make you wrong. They're doing the blame and the shame. But that's only because of their own personal unconsciousness. But then you get caught up in that cycle and it's they're gaslighting you. They're, make, they're literally seeding doubt into you. That's the way the feminine has lived for quite a long time. Actually, the, 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 the female body has been defined. What it, you know, I lived in Las Vegas for 19 years. I gotta, that was part of my sex education, just seeing what the divine feminine is not. The idea of beauty has been defined. You know, men are visual. So we've actually, you know, in our, in our uh, disease to please, we've bought into that idea of what beauty actually is. <laughs> Stop. If you're being, if you're, you know, we've been gaslighted, I guess that's the term, for what we're supposed to actually look like as well. Now, yes, the feminine form is beautiful, but it has a short shelf life. So when you start tapping into that inner radiance, and I'm here to tell you right here before you without any makeup on, it, it, approaching my 60s, you know, you got to get over that, how you look. It's really, you know, before I leave this planet, I want to have made a graceful mark with uh, a sprinkling of divine feminine essence, helping people access that divine feminine essence within them. So if you're being gaslighted, or if you are still in your mind uh, thinking how you need to look instead of how you need to feel, you're living in um, a disconnect and it's hurting you. It's hurting you. So get the support, get the nurturing, get the guidance. Join our Leaders of Love Women's Group where every week we gather in circle and we support the Divine Feminine Essence awakening in you. And it can be an awakening in so many different ways. 
let me see, where was I at? Number four. So give your inner wisdom a voice. Speak your truth. Don't fall into gaslighting and doubt of who you are and the messages that are coming to you. Number five, have gratitude for life, all of life. Every breath you take is sacred. If you're stuck in depression or fear, you know, fear, uh, being scared is actually sacred. I love that one. Scared and sacred. So when you're scared, you literally have an opportunity to transform that to an, a sacred experience for you. But you need to be able to manage your emotions in a really sacred, profound way because those emotions are in your body. So it literally lets you, your body's talking to you and say, ah, <laughs> go spend time with that energy. Go to spend time with that scaredness because it's sacred. Don't be in your mind with it. Be in your body with it. And it will literally, there will be an alchemy and a transformation that will happen. Bring the light of consciousness to that fear. <sighs> Number six, create sacred space. So just that. Be with that fear, with your breath, with your hands on your body. Get out of your mind and be in your body. Give it your breath. Light a candle. Make invocation. Say a prayer. Be with your body as your temple. In that, in that, um, in that intense energy, and bring bring up the vibration of it through your breath, through your hands, through connecting to your body. Number eight. Ah, well, this all one leads into the other. Get to know yourself. You know, if by the end of the light, at the end of your life, the only one that you've gotten to know is yourself, life would have been worth living. So who are you? Do you know who you are? Are you kind and gentle to yourself? You know, listen to your thoughts. How often are you beating yourself up? How often do you go to the mirror and, and look into the, the, the mirror and give a wink and say, babe, we're in this together because I'll tell you at the end of the life, at the end of your life, you don't know who's going to be there with you, but you do know one thing for sure, guaranteed who's going to be there with you. It's going to be you. And have you gotten to know yourself? So do that today. Do That's my assignment to you. Go to the mirror and I'll do it too. Go to the mirror, look into your eyes and wink and say, babe, we're doing this thing together. I'm with you right by your side. Ah, create a sense of sacredness, relationship with you. Get to know yourself. And the last one I'm going to say, number nine, is honor your sexuality. Now, that's a big subject. That's a big subject. I would like to do more teachings on that in my Leaders of Love group. Because when you talk about sex... It needs a safe place. It needs a sacred place. It isn't something to be joked about. It isn't something to be, um, it really needs a safe container. That's pretty much all I'm going to say. Well, I'm going to say one more thing. What is your attitude about sexuality? And what is your attitude about your female anatomy? Is it kind? Is it caring? How often do you spend time with your female anatomy? Just you and her. That's really important. Okay, so I'm going to repeat these nine things that I discussed. Number one, honor your emotions. Number two, love your body. Number three, trust your intuition. Number four, give your inner wisdom a voice. Speak your truth. Number five, have gratitude for life. Hold life as sacred. Every breath is sacred. Number six, create sacred space. Create, have your life be a sacred container. Do you have a temple space in your house? You know, do you have a, an altar or do you have any way that you've brought in sacred energy into your home? Rose, good morning. Thank you again for the reading. You are awesome and provided a lot of clarity in this world that's gone insane. <laughs> Thank you, Rose. Yes, I sent your reports to you too. It was so beautiful to be with you, Rose, and give you a reading, an astrology reading. We do. We channeled divine feminine energy as we came together and I looked at her astrology. That's another way to connect to your divine feminine essence. 
let's see, get to know yourself. And that's another way to get to know yourself. I think that's where six is sacred space and eight is get to know yourself. And nine is honor your sex sexuality. Big subject. And we think sexuality is just something in between your legs. It's so much more. But that's a subject for another day. All right. So your assignment, and Rose, I hope you do it too. I'm going to do it after we get off. I'm going to go to the mirror and I'm going to connect with my soul. You see, your eyes are the seat of your soul. When was the last time you looked into the mirror and looked deeply into your eyes to let you know that you're there for yourself? Go do that right now. Have some fun with it and wink to yourself and say, babe, we got this thing. We're doing it together. All right. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.